today I have a little coloring tutorial for you. Um, this week in our shop we released a couple zombie digis, so I thought it'd be a fun video to do about coloring zombie skin. Now I don't know about any of you, but I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead and horror movies in general, so I got a lot of imagination pool to pull from. But for this one I wanted to make sure I kind of got the colors right. I wanted them to look dead and pale and things like that. So I went to the internet for some picture inspiration and found this seemingly popular image. So I kind of took a cue from her and figured myself out a base color to use for coloring zombies. So for this one I'm going to use Zombie Cody and I'm using him for this one specifically because he has a nice big area to cover. Now I've blown him up a little bigger than I would normally use for a card but I wanted that so you guys could see a little better. So for this tutorial I'm going to kind of use a weird mish of colors and if you look at the zombie girl picture um, and I'll have a link to that image um, up in the post that goes along with this tutorial that'll be linked you know down below you see that her skin has a cool gray but in the shadows in the areas where you would maybe think that stagnant blood would pool I know super gross but still um, it's got more of a warm purpley red hue and I assume that's you know like I said the blood under the skin. So kind of got a mish of weird colors here but it seems to work well. So what I'm going to start with is um, V91 which is kind of a reddish purpley color and I found that it's really great for this. Um, I'm going to have my light source coming from up here today just to give you a little indication. And I'm just going to kind of go through and lay in my shadows. Now normally you know that I don't work dark to light and things like that. But in this case I'm using these colors as kind of, um, if you're painting you call it like a primer for whatever you're going to put on top. And you can use this as on its own and it look kind of like the zombie girl picture um, but I also have a couple variations of it that you can use to get a couple different looks and they all use the same base so well normally this isn't how I roll this works for this particular instance I have a lot of these little test images floating around that just did not make the grade here. So consider me having taken that step out of your hands. So it's roughed in. I'm not worrying about blending it right now. I'm just kind of giving him some dimension. I'm just going to stick kind of with his face right now too. And then I'm going to go ahead and build up those shadows a little bit more with V95. It's also that same kind of purpley gray, but this one's a bit darker. And to me, it seems to have a little more gray in it. The nice thing about these colors is that it has that warm undertone that I talked about in the zombie girl picture. So it's going to give us that look once we get into our other stops here. You don't have to worry about on zombies necessarily having smooth blends and stuff because you know they're going to have a lot of texture just from being zombies on the skin. So, you know if you think about it and it's kind of gross, but we're talking zombies here, so let's be a little gross. That as the skin 
gets old and decays and in some zombie movies it's diseased so it's not going to be like movie star flawless we're not looking for that kind of thing here all right so i've added some v95 i'm gonna grab a little bit of v99 and this is like almost verging on black but it's got a kind of purpley undertone to it and I'm just gonna get right in the very shadowy parts you don't have to go this far I just like that it gives a really nice extra here and it holds up well to um, when we blend in the other colors it retains some of that um, reddish purpley gray color a little better than just the V95 and stuff by itself. Also gives a nice contrast. So now I'm going to jump back to the middle of the pack. Um, this isn't one we've used, but it's B93. So it's kind of the same family. I'm just going to do a light blend. Nothing too amazing here. Just to kind of feather it together. And then I'm going to go do the same thing with B91. Now the other thing, if you take a look at Zombie Girl, um, you'll notice that she's, even though she's got a lot of color and texture, she's really pale. So we don't want to overfill him with color, even though that's normally what I like to do is give it a lot of rich color, but this time this is not what we want to do. So we're keeping... The highlight's very white, which is another reason I'm starting in the shadows rather than coloring the whole image. So the next color I'm going to add, which is kind of the opposite of the V93, is I'm going to add some BG70. Now this is really, really light, but it's got this blue-gray, and it's going to add a little bit of that deathly look. So I'm just going to lightly go over what we've already done and flick into the areas that we haven't added any color. It's going to kind of give a little texture because of how much um, colorless blender is in this compared to the other colors and it's also going to kind of give it a sickly look. And for this image I think that's kind of the look we're going for. Just a little bit. Not too much. Now, if you want to, you can go back and add a little bit more of this later, too, to give it a little more of that look. So, that's where we're at right now. Next, what I'm going to grab is... C0. It's a very light, cool gray. Um, so it's got that same kind of blue in it. And it's going to go over kind of the same thing we just did with the BG70. But I'm going to cover most of the rest of the areas. Now, if you added the V99, um, some of these lighter colors might end up picking up that if it's not dried completely into your paper. So just be aware. You can just kind of wipe it off on the side and it'll be okay. So I'm just kind of going over the whole image with this C0. Again, I'm not really worrying about adding, you know, having a smooth blend or anything like that, but this will give it you know, blended together a little more. So right now he's looking kind of, he's like opposite to track look going on. 
So I'm going to grab C3 and just hit some of those shadows and that'll kind of marry the two different color groups. And then I'll end up blending that back in a little bit with, um, I think I'm going to use C1 for that. I'm not really going to try to hit those light areas. I'm just going to kind of flick into them. So he looks kind of bruised, which is kind of a good way to think about it because it's the same kind of idea that the, you know, you have the blood pooling under the skin. It's all kind of gross. So for zombie Cody, that's a good look. He is digging his zombie duds. All right. So. It's very smooth, very posh right now, but zombies have texture. So let's head back to our V90s. I'm going to head to start with V93. And I'm going to, just in the darker areas, I'm going to add some speckles of different sizes. Now, if you want them more distinctive looking than what I'm getting, Wait until all this blending we've done is completely dry. Because right now it's a little wet, so it's going to kind of blend in with what you've already got going on. So if you want some strong speckles going on here, just blow on your image, give it a few minutes, get something to drink, or what have you. I'm just doing this in the shadowy areas. Because if you take a look at Zombie Girl, then you'll notice that that's the majority of the places that you'll see her texture. All right. I'll grab a little V91, which is slightly lighter, and kind of do the same thing. I'm going to go a little further out with that one, since it is lighter. Now, if you got this in and you're like, oh my gosh, these, the speckly texture I've added is too strong. I don't like it. I want it a little softer. Now, what you can do is go back to either your Steed Zero or your BG70. I'm going to grab BG70 just as an example and just flick right over the top of them. That'll just kind of blend them in a little bit while still having some of that texture. I'm just going to fill in his little warts up here real quick. And then I'm going to grab, just for a little more texture, C1 and add a little bit more of that. So there we go. Not a lot to it. It's just finding the right colors to kind of marry together to give him that dead skin, icky zombie look. Now I've got a couple other examples for you. If you wanted to say give him a, instead of more of a gray look, if you wanted to give him say a, um, a green look. And we've all seen green zombies, so that's something else to consider. Um, I used the same base as I did here and then added, um, sorry, YG 91 and 93 and I think a little 97 in place of the C's using the C0, C1, C3. So that gives him a completely different look. But you can still see the kind of bruisey look 
here in the shadows that we've got going on here. Now if you still like the gray, do this and then add your YGs on top of it and give it a slightly darker, more deathly look. He looks a little cutie here since he's not he's a little brighter, not as dark. So another option for you. Now if you want to think about a darker skinned zombie. Um, this is the example I have for you. I did this whole base and then over the top of it I went very lightly and I kind of wish there was like a E70 or 700 so it's like slightly lighter but really lightly I went and added um, E70 and E71 in here. A little 74 down in the really shadowy spots. I had taken a look at some other zombies from like um, Walking Dead and stuff that had the darker skin and that's the color combination I came up with. So all of this plus E70 and C71 and E74. Those are kind of a grayish brown so they add really well to that kind of deathly look. Now one other option I don't have an example for but only takes one step is if you want them to look a little more bluey gray purple kind of thing grab your B60 which is a slightly purplish blue and just very lightly like we did with the C0 kind of go over your image and that'll give him another look. You can kind of see that on my zombie may example in the semi girl shop if you take a look at that. So just to wrap it up the colors I used were V91, move them to the side, V95, V93, V99, then some BG70, a C0, C1, and lastly C3. And that will get you your zombie Cody base. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you use it, I'd love to see how it turns out for you. So hit me up on Instagram. My handle is at somehow at some odd girl. Or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and in our community, which is someodgirl.ning.com. Alright, I hope you see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.